In Clash of Clans, there are troops that are OP, and then there are the ones that suck. But right in the middle are troops that are neither OP or bad. Today, we're going to be discussing troops with the fewest balance changes, or none at all. Troops that are so perfectly balanced that they have remained pretty much the same since their addition. Thanos will be proud. So, with that being said, let's get right into it. Let's do this. Baby Dragon. Some say the Baby Dragon is the ultimate farming troop. Others, the perfect funneler. <laughs> Is that even a word? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't matter what you use it for. I think everyone can agree the baby dragon is decent enough for almost every situation. At lower town halls, it is often named the best for collector farming due to sneaky goblins being unlocked later. And for funneling, it gets the job done. For what seems like a perfectly balanced troop, you think it had to be balanced at some point to get to where it is. But no. The Baby Dragon has never received a single buff or nerf. Since its addition in 2016, it's remained the exact same. Taking a look at the history, you'll find that the only change, if you even want to call it that, were very minor AI and bug fixes that were pretty specific, nothing that changed its stats or overall behavior. The Baby Dragon is pretty dang awesome, and most of that can be attributed to its special ability where it does double damage if they're spread out. Out. Obviously though, you may hit a certain point of the game where you may replace the baby dragon with other troops. It's not that uncommon to do. It doesn't mean that it sucks, but it's also not as powerful in the upper town halls. Perhaps this is the reason the baby dragon has remained the same. Maybe it was intended for it to be strong at lower town halls, much like giant and goblins for example. Still though, the baby dragon is awesome and will always remain relevant. Electro Dragon. For a troop that gets a lot of attention for all the wrong reasons, you'd think it was nerfed into oblivion at some point, or maybe it was buffed and that's why it's OP. Well, you'd be surprised that neither of those are the case, and to be honest, I don't think it's ever been OP. Since 2018, the Electro Dragon has got some changes, but for the most part, they were changes that you wouldn't even notice. For example, minor AI and targeting changes, and a small increase in movement speed. If you take a step back and look at the Electro Dragon's six year balance history, you can see that it's basically been the exact same the entire time. What makes the Electro Dragon so popular is its ease of use, whether you're creating a funnel or spamming them, being easy is sometimes synonymous with being overpowered in Clash of Clans. Getting at least two stars with Electro Dragons is really easy. I mean, for the most part, it's spray and pray. And if you want to get a little more strategic, you can bring a mix of spells or different air troops like balloons. For some players, at least two stars is more than enough. I mean, you're hearing from the guy that kept using go Eye for years after it sucked. I understand why a troop or strategy being good enough is enticing. Of course though, over the years, other factors have affected the Electro Dragons indirectly, like defense balancing and how we design our bases today. The Electro Dragon is a perfect example of today's video topic because even in 2024, the community can't agree if they're OP or if they suck. Headhunter you know, when I first started to gather this list, I didn't think the Headhunter would be here. For a troop that targets heroes, surely it's had tons of balances. It just seems like a complicated troop, right? Well, you'd be right. It has received one nerf, but a very small one. Suspiciously small. Almost like the nerf was aiming to nerf a specific interaction. Turns out that's exactly what happened. It was essentially to make the super minion and headhunter clan castle combination less powerful. The super minion getting most of the nerf here. Still, I am very surprised that the headhunter has only gotten one small nerf. I have personally never used it as much, but overall, it's a decent troop that can be good when you need it. For the average player, it may seem very situational, kind of like the Apprentice Warden, but for certain high-level strategies, it is essential to ring. The headhunter doesn't get much attention though, most players just don't care to bring a droob that targets heroes. That's probably helped it stay low-key and untouched. It's not like an entire army of headhunters will be 3-starring a base anyway. Goblin 
Okay, your first thought is probably, why would the goblin ever need to be buffed or nerfed anyway? <laughs> it just runs fast and collects resources. That's all. Of course it's gonna be on this list. Surprisingly though, the goblin has gotten some changes, all of them being buffs. Over the years, bases have become stronger and better troops to farm have been released. So throughout the goblin's 12 year history, it's gotten a total of three changes to keep up with the times. In December 2015, it now targeted town halls and clan castles with 2x damage. In February 2019, level 4 and onward got more HP, and the same thing would happen in December 2021. As you can see, besides more HP and being able to target additional buildings, goblins have stayed the same. I mean, even their in-game model. But yeah, like I said earlier, what else could the goblin need? It's powerful at the town halls where it needs to be, and that's how it's been able to remain the same. Generally, this happens to the first troops you unlock. It is as though their usability is supposed to peak by the time you want to replace it with something else. Ice Golem. Most commonly used when a giant is not enough, but a regular golem is too much, the ice golem is essentially a medium tank that slows defenses down and drops a free spell when taken out. It's a cool troop, and if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. There's many armies out there, but I absolutely love ice golems in combination with bat spells. Seeing everything freeze while the bats do some damage will never not be satisfying. Now, the Ice Golem has gotten some balances, but not for the reasons you'd expect it to, I guess. The two nerfs it got were specifically for the free spell it drops, and it was aimed to nerf its effectiveness as a defensive clan castle unit. The first of those changes being more of a rework as the spell's radius was increased in offense. But other than that, for the past four years, the Ice Golem itself has remained the same as it was in 2018 when it launched. The damage, HP, speed, slowdown, none of it has ever been touched, and to me that is very surprising. The Ice Golem is simply just where it needs to be. It's arguably achieved the perfect balance. Of course though, opinions generally vary between town halls with the Ice Golem more than they do with other tanks like the Golem or Lava Hound. Electro Titan. Though it is fairly new, I still think it deserved a spot on this list due to how little of a difference there is with the 2022 Electro Titan to today. She has received a total of zero buffs or nerfs. The only thing that came close was some AI changes that wasn't exactly about her, it was an increase to her warden weight so that the Grand Warden would follow her more. Aside from that, she is the exact same since launch, and the reason that this is surprising to me is that troops that get released at upper town halls normally go through at least a couple of buffs or nerfs before they're okay. I mean, look at the Root Rider, Apprentice Warden, what about the Yetis? Those a disaster. But no, the Electro Titan needed no change. Now, some say that she is a little underwhelming at upper town halls and very OP in a clan castle for lower town halls, but honestly, I think she's at a perfect spot. Well, I mean, I can't lie, she is OP at lower town halls, but whatever. <laughs> That's the case with a lot of troops that Lord Town Halls are commonly requesting. In the upper Town Halls, it's still a decent choice. When it was first released, it was actually everywhere, but then Rue Riders and Valkyries happen, and now you see them less. But definitely not a troop that needs a buff. Not at all. Like I said, I think she's at a perfect spot. It can be very strong if used correctly, but it's not as easy as something like Electro Dragons, of course. And last but not least, the archers. This one was also very surprising, because you mean to tell me that the archer has only got one change in the 12 years it's existed, and that one change wasn't even specifically for the archer herself? That sounds very off, but it's true. The only thing that has changed about the archers was that in July 2015, the speed of the arrows was increased. But this is not because the archers needed a change, this was a result of the archer tower getting the exact same change. And it only made sense to change the archers as well. And don't confuse this with a buff, the stats stayed the exact same. 
it was the travel time of the arrow. For example, I recently showcased the difference in projectile speeds of the wizard tower in a fax video. All levels have the same attack speed, but at lower levels, it takes longer to get to the target. Anyways, this is the change that the archers got. This is simply one of those cases where the archer is just where it needs to be. It's never been too powerful or bad. It does what it needs to do perfectly fine. And even at the upper town halls, you still see them for sniping buildings. So guys, that wraps it up. Those are the troops with the lease balances. You may have noticed that all of these are from the home village and just the normal troops, no super troops. And that's primarily because these are the troops that get the most attention balancing wise. Also, I just thought that super troops and clan capital troops are too recent. So of course, there's going to be a lot of troops in that area that have never been balanced. But who knows, maybe we'll revisit this topic some other time. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a good me out. Peace.